thanks for joining us. Um, can you let our, our fans know a little bit about uh, what Motive.io does? Sure, uh, we make amazing real world experiences and tools to do that. So what we found is there are people who are very good at storytelling, narrative, designing experiences, uh, but typically they don't have the tools they need in the app space. And what we've done is we've created a nice drag and drop online tool where they can create those experiences and iterate on those. Um, while at the same time, there's a Unity template that understands how to grab that information and all associated media down every time it starts. So you can let the people who are good at the experience continue to iterate on that in parallel with your engineers and graphic designers styling out a Unity template. And we're very good at doing things with beacons, GPS, real world. We use social data, we use weather data, time of day. And we have content that adapts. So it's different if you're at a bank than if you're at a school. Or when you get close to a beacon, you'll get a sound file that will pop up. Or maybe you'll get something added to your inventory. All those things can be added through a nice online authoring tool. and Event, hence change the experience as you as you um, as you're developing to make sure that it is optimal and the best thing that you want to put out the beacon is really interesting because it allows you to target people within a specific area um, how did you guys go about getting those set up or are you partnering with someone who already has those established in certain areas in the city typically what we found is that there's a lot of people we've done work with uh, sound artists who did a large-scale experience um, in New York we're working with some people in London who all provide their own beacons, and they were just looking for a way to utilize them. So you have people who are more than happy to buy the beacons, but they just didn't have a way to access the technology. And so we wanted to make sure that those people who have these amazing ideas and have this gift of narrative or experience to be able to utilize the technology in the way that they wanted. And is this a tool that you would say is for developers of any kind, uh, indie, big studio or is this more um, driven towards a team uh, of people that can, can do it or can an individual use the platform themselves and integrate it into their, their current platform? Certainly. So what we've, we had made this originally for game developers, but what we found more and more is that there are people who are outside of games who are into experiential um, uh, kind of things that happen outside or in large scale rooms like this. Um, who have no interest in doing the code spot. So we've been working on doing, styling out the template for them while they use our authoring tool to iterate on those and go outside and use it. Now, I, I believe the problem that we've really solved is in most companies, uh, you'll have creative people who are good at that experience and they'll write a document, they'll write a spreadsheet and they'll hand it to an engineer. That person will code it up and they'll go back to the creative and they'll say that's all wrong and you'll, you'll do that 50, 100 times and that wastes everybody's time and money and you got one group always waiting on the other. With our tool, you can have both those groups work in parallel, so you're going to get your game out faster, you're going to get your experience out faster, it's going to cost you less money, and you could maybe do three in the time you did one. That's awesome. So if people wanted more information on the product, where, where would they go to get that information? Uh, please visit us at motive.io, and uh, we're on Twitter at, at motive underscore io. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Peter. Much really appreciated. appreciated. Thank you. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of the conference. Cheers, you too. Thank you.